Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I am hoping you guys are all having a wonderful day. So today's upload is just going to be an update on the weather. We have a couple of small snow systems that will be approaching um, the Midwest, potentially maybe even the Northeast. And these will be coming from the West as it is very active right now in the West. Heavy snow, heavy rain in areas that it's warm enough to, for it to rain and uh, just cold temperatures also. So some wide, widespread snowfalls are expected. And before we get into this video, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you could do so by hitting the red subscribe button. That's basically the easiest way to support my YouTube channel. Um, the best way, which is a little bit more harder, and um, many people don't like it, but it's we have an own community basically on Patreon, and you like could get up to um you could pay me up to two dollars or four dollars or six dollars on it, and depending on it uh, depending on how much you give me, you could get like a reward or something. But it's basically just like a whole different community, and if you want to do it, it really supports my channel. So uh, consider doing that. Right now, we're going to look at the weather and. Okay, so we have a system right now that's located in northern Michigan, uh, over Lake Michigan, northern Lake Michigan, and this system is not very strong. As you can see, it's producing a little bit of rain, a little bit of snow, not major accumulations, but the cold air behind it will be fairly significant as it blasts through many areas. Here in Chicago, we almost got up to 50. It was 48, 49 degrees here, and the snow really came down. I mean, um, um, the temperatures are really going to come down, and the snow did not come down. There was really nothing here associated with this system, uh, as this system has a fairly strong cold front, but nothing really uh, in terms of precip or significant weather. But the cold air behind it will be significant, and you can see it sets up the the precip across that came from the west. It's changes it over to snow so there's a whole winter weather advisory whole area whole plethora of um, winter weather advisories from nebraska kansas and missouri into southern illinois indiana i'll show you the map in just a minute of the national weather service the weather ready nation map um quite a bit of advisories nothing heavy in particular there won't be you know a foot of snow, a half of uh, more than a, a foot and a half, a half a foot, maybe you know, six five inches in the higher amounts, but generally one to three inches is on uh, is pretty common, and that will not really intensify. You can see it breaks apart, and uh, we see another system and the energy from the remaining system transform into another little um, piece that could deliver some snow to the Midwest over the weekend. And you can see again, L Indiana. Illinois, Kentucky getting some snow, very light snow, nothing major. And then again, look at this. We set, we set up another area of precip, very light snow, nothing significant, maybe a few inches of snow. And then it can move up into the northeast, produce, uh, again, a couple of inches at the most. And maybe even Boston could get in on this. So uh, finally, those that live in Boston could get some more snow. They've gotten, I think, around four to five inches from the previous event. So uh, they already had some snow, but uh, New York doesn't look, will be on a line with this system. But this system by no means looks significant. It does not look like a blizzard, a major snow, snowstorm, just a little bit of light snow to come on your Monday morning commute. And then we see another system come up, this one rather from the south, and it brings up quite a bit of rain. I mean, maybe even some severe weather. Um, in terms of snow, however, not so much again, maybe up to five, four inches in the higher amounts, but um, nothing too significant. And as we look at the total snowfall accumulations for the GFS model, which is the one I was just showing you, from all of those systems, basically, essentially, uh, two two more significant systems, that one minor system that's occurring right now in Michigan, uh, maybe some areas over half a foot, six, seven inches, but uh, that's still on the higher side. The west, however, a completely different story, lots and lots of snow and uh very active weather. Let's go to the FV3 GFS, show you how much snowfall this model is showing. It's a basically a member of the GFS. It's showing um, a lot more snow in the south. I am not buying that. This is usually falls as sleet or sometimes just a mixed bag of precip and just counts it as snow. Um, so don't buy anything in here in Arkansas. This most likely won't happen. Or here in North Carolina, this most likely will be, you know, some minor accumulations. Uh, here it shows quite a bit more snow for the um, not quite a bit, but a little bit more snow for Iowa, Nebraska, and Kansas and Missouri, <clears throat> maybe up to eight inches of snow. But uh, this is over the course of several days. This is not just one event. 
if we go to the Canadian model, I'd like to show you this snowfall accumulations. The Canadian model has um, not as widespread in terms of the pink and purple, but um, some higher amounts for the areas that do see the snow. So let's just rewind this back to hour zero or hour six, which is the current time. And again, very weak system in Michigan, across Michigan, maybe northern Wisconsin. It does intensify as it moves up into Canada, but for the Northeast, again, not looking like a significant event, at least the coastal Northeast, uh, maybe northern parts of Maine, a little bit more snow. And then with that system, like I mentioned, uh, that system passing through, leaving that cold air behind, it breaks out a whole area of snow into Nebraska, Kansas, and Missouri. Three to five, maybe six inches is possible. Uh, as it goes further and further into the east, it will weaken. And uh, then another area of snow, the Canadian model has um, this second wave over Sunday, very, very um, disorganized compared to what the GFS had, not a lot of snow. And look at that, um, into the northeast, maybe a little bit of snow, still nothing significant. And it does have that third, uh, potentially that third system into Wednesday and Thursday. So overall, you know, fairly active, but not huge systems. There won't be any major snowstorms other than in the west where a lot of snow, rain, sleet, freezing rain, wintry weather, and just the rain, plain old rain have been uh, occurring and happening. So definitely quite a bit of precip for the west and, um, you know, above average maybe for the east, but minor events, nothing too significant. But those minor events, you know, op over the same areas can lead up to quite a bit of snow. This is what it's currently issued. You can see winter storm warnings, flood warnings, flood watches for the west. And then uh, for a whole area, fairly significant area, almost a whole state of Missouri, whole state of Kansas, a swath into Nebraska and uh, southern Illinois, Kentucky, southern Indiana, seeing a uh, a winter weather advisory for several inches of snow possibly. So let's go to, say, the Paducah area, southern Illinois, southern Indiana. This is uh, the office of Paducah, Kentucky. And let's see um, let's see uh, what uh, happens here. Let's go to winter weather advisory. Their, uh, their snowfall predicted snowfall amounts with their latest... Uh, what their latest update has. So let's go, just skip to ice, snow, and ice forecast. You can see as the further east you go, um, the lesser the amounts, but the further west you go, the greater amounts, even some areas in Missouri, maybe up to four to six inches um, possible with this. And um, southern Indiana, Evansville, Louisville, which is actually in Kentucky, but around that area is uh, maybe up to uh, two to three inches, maybe three to four. So you can see they see uh, snow, sleet, and ice. I don't think there will be as much ice or sleet as there will be snow. Um, I think they're overdoing it on, on this. I don't think there will be that much uh, really uh, ice with this system. It will be fairly cold for those areas that see snow and fairly warm for those areas that see rain. Let's go to an area like North Kansas, uh, Kansas, um, Kansas City area. And I want to go here because the amounts here will be a tad greater than what they would be in Paducah, Kentucky. And you can see three to six inches fairly likely or, you know, possible, I should rather say, from uh, St. Joseph, Joseph to Kansas City, Fall City, Maryville, Topeka, Kansas, all, you know, three to six inches is possible, which is quite significant. Don't get me wrong. That's definitely not like nothing, but uh, it's it's not a, it's not a huge, huge storm. And uh, these areas have winter weather advisories for blowing snow, drifting snow. There are special weather statements issued, I think, for, yeah, mainly the winds. You could see right here, a gusting and uh, gusting. Uh, let's, okay, so let's just click on this. Uh, gusting to 240 miles per hour this evening. Um, and you can see that they, they already are looking at the weekend snowfall through Sunday evening and uh, potentially some snow. But again, the Canadian model doesn't show much. And the European model for the weekend doesn't show much either. You could see uh, it has maybe a little bit more for western Iowa uh, into southern Minnesota up to three, four inches. But for anywhere east of that, like northern Illinois, central Illinois, not much at all with this system, maybe an inch, which is, you know, negligible. And then uh, with that first system that's going to occur tomorrow and uh, into Saturday, five inches around the Kansas City area, Nebraska, four or five inches. And this European model actually has quite a bit of snow even into southern Indiana, up to five, six inches, all the way to the coast. So 
Uh, that's something to watch for. And in the next 10 days, we see that third system starting to organize. So maybe some greater amounts of, you know, seven, eight, nine inches, which uh, is possible, like I said, but this is for the next 10 days. So don't get too worked up by this. For the Northeast, it was a little looking a little bit better last night. Now, not as much snow, but you could see maybe central uh, New Jersey. If you live in New Jersey, you should probably um, listen to this part of the video because look at this. Uh, here's a map and New Jersey. This is only one model, so this is not set in stone. But for the next 10 days, as much as five, six inches of snow is possible uh, south of New York City into Pennsylvania. But uh, Boston not looking too good. And Maine with that one system that uh, is going to develop. Um, you can see in the next three days, they're still going to get quite a bit of snow because that's a one system that's centered right now in uh, Lake uh, Michigan. And it is going to bring that cold air. So uh, otherwise, it's fairly calm. Nothing uh, too much to talk about. Uh, the cold air definitely will be below average if we look. That's okay. I don't want to make it too long, but let's quickly go to the F or the GEFS ensembles and let's go to two meter temperature anomaly. So again, this is just a GEFS ensemble. So this is just a uh, one family of models, but it's better than just one model. So generally cold conditions for at least the, nor the further Northwest you go, the colder and further Southeast, like Florida, Georgia, Alabama, you know, warmer. And we could see again with that cold air blast behind that system that's right now in Michigan, a cold blast of air, Iowa, Illinois, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Kansas, Nebraska, and that's what sets up the ability or availability of the snow to be fall as snow instead of rain because of this cold air. And this continues for quite a while. You could see just chilly conditions below average, nothing like the polar vortex though, due to the fact that average temperatures are already rising since it's springtime almost. And, um, Basically, uh, the it's not just going to be that cold. There's no, it's not a polar vortex. It's just chillier air, and you can see it actually remains for quite a while and continues to stay so. So we'll just have to see what happens because this continues to stay of uh, the cold air for quite a while and maybe even overcome the warm air. And we'll just have to wait and see. But it looks like winter is not going away fairly soon, at least through March. So that's basically it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. Stay tuned to your National Weather Service, your local. Um, weather to your local uh, maybe even stay tuned to my channel if you'd like to but i don't really bring updates too often maybe once every two or one, three days so uh just keep your eyes on the radar keep your eyes to the sky and thank you so much for watching consider subscribing consider becoming a patron i'll see you guys in the next episode